we've got a fantastic matchup here between the Sony Xperia XE2 and the iPhone 10. And let's go right to it. Now the Sony is only the second phone in the world to rate a Snapdragon 45. And the first is the Samsung Galaxy S9. Well of course the iPhone has an A11 chipset. Now the iPhone is the first one to boot up. And the Sony about 3-4 seconds behind there. Alright guys, we have a great matchup here in Nexus Covert Specs. The iPhone has a larger screen at a higher resolution. 5.8 inches, 458 pixels per inch. Versus 5.7 inches, 424 pixels per inch. The front facing camera on the Sony is 5MP and on the Apple it's 7. On the back, the Sony is one camera at 19MP. And on the iPhone, you have two dual cameras, both of them are 12MP. And of course, we have front and rear facing camera comparisons later in the video. The Sony has 64GB internal storage and microSD card support. And on the iPhone, you have 64 to 56. The Sony has a larger battery at 3180 versus 2716. Both phones are the latest chipset, you have the Snapdragon 845 versus A11, and 6GB RAM versus 3. Both phones are waterproof. And the Sony's at a higher certification, so I'll pour a bit more water on that. And on the bottom, the Sony is USB Type C, and on the iPhone, a Lightning port. And unfortunately, no headphone jacks on these phones. On the back, both phones have beautiful glass designs on them. And on the Sony, you do have a fingerprint scanner right here. On the iPhone, you have no fingerprint scanner on it. But both phones do recognize your face. Both also have stereo speakers and will be testing out later in the video. The Sony is on Android Oreo, the iPhone is on iOS 11. And let's go on with the rest of the test now. Alright guys, so everything's closed out on both. And first up we have NBC. So the answer for the Sony, Spotify, Sony, YouTube, Sony, eBay. Once again, the Sony there, I find it next. And this one going to the iPhone, Amazon Shopping. Sony, Photos, and very, very close there. Alright guys, and now we're getting to the intense stuff, really seeing how the Snapdragon 45 performs. And yeah, definitely impressive, this one going to the Sony. Because generally the iPhone does excellent with the games, but uh, again guys, you do have a new process here in the Snapdragon 45. Subway Surfers. But this one going to the iPhone. Super Mario Run. Now we have two more games, but a lot more stuff after that. And the Sony here. Ash 40. Alright, so Sony winning this, so Sony winning 3 to 4. And here's a look at Intuito. So it's pretty close, but a higher score on the iPhone 10. Sunset early, no copyright. And that's right, guys, next up be the speaker test. And both these phones have dual speakers on them. So first up the Sony. And now the iPhone.
back to Sony. And one last time. So personally, I do prefer the quality on the Sony, but the iPhone does get a bit louder. But definitely let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Now the Sony does have a fingerprint scanner right here on the back. Well on the iPhone, no fingerprint scanner on it. And on the Sony, it's extremely accurate, works 100% of the time basically. And also pretty quick as you guys see. But now we're going to go and test out the face, uh, face recognition on both. So what you have to do is you have to swipe up and look at your phone just like that. And I will say it definitely seems a lot quicker and more accurate on the iPhone. Where the Sony kind of have to look at it for, uh, I mean sometimes it's pretty quick, it's actually been doing a pretty good job right now. Yeah, so as you guys just saw right there, uh, honestly guys, I would say if you have the Sony, it's definitely use the fingerprint scanner instead because I do prefer that to Face ID. And next will be of Chrome versus Safari. So we have four sizes in versus CNET. And the bands are for the Sony. Yahoo.com. And again, I think that was a Sony, but if I'm wrong, write a comment down below. Sony.com. Sony. And final one, we have Apple.com. And this is going to the iPhone, but overall, Sony winning three to four. And now we have multitasking and going to be testing out the six versus three gigabytes of RAM. So first will be the NBC. And refreshing right now on the iPhone. So this one going to the Sony. Spotify. And that one going to the iPhone. YouTube. Sony. <laughs> eBay. Sony. iFunny. Sony, it is refreshing there on the iPhone. Amazon Shopping. Photos. And now we're getting to the more intense stuff. We have Temperon 2. And excellent job there. Subway Surfers. And on the iPhone, they originally showed a picture. So this one going to the Sony. Super Mario. Ash 40. And the bands are for the Sony that originally showed a picture on the iPhone. Chrome vs Safari. And there was it for the Sony, but you know what guys, amazing job for the multitasking for both phones. Camera speed next. And 
I'm going to switch on the speed here for now. But right after, so we have front and rear facing camera comparisons. And no iPhotos is on, guys, but the same version of that is on for Sony as well. So yeah, pretty close, pretty mixed, I think. Really not a big difference. Sometimes the iPhone, sometimes it's the Sony. Oops, <laughs> getting my... So you guys, the, uh, the Sony, the camera's a little bit low. Uh, should be, I think, okay, you will adjust to it, but it is a bit weird. And now for a test of the front-facing cameras, and honestly guys, I'm not very good on both. Let me know in the comment section what you all think. And this on the image stabilization. And now for a test of the front-facing cameras, and honestly guys, I'm not very good on both. Let me know in the comment section what you all think. And this on the image stabilization. Anthem stabilization. And then look there at the max engine. Alright, guys, so definitely let me know in the comment section below which one you think won. And I will say, I think this only won the majority of the speed tests, although the speakers, cameras, definitely a bit more mixed there. So, again, let me know what you all think. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video.